All right, let's try to get out of the car. <laughs> Jeez. Well, that was easy. All right, guys, this is a uh, 2024 Wrangler four-door Willie 4XE. It is a really cool looking truck, or Jeep, I should say. And uh, this is going for $60,615 without any markups or anything like that. I don't think there's gonna be any markups on this one. The optional equipment, you're talking customer preferred package 29W, which includes a differential front axle, true lock rear axle, Willys 4XE, hood decal, Willy suspension, off-road plus mode. It's got the um, those uh, rocker protection bars over here, which could be removed and replaced with Nerf bars. Obviously, I would need a Nerf bar to get in and out of this thing. Uh, so would my wife, but uh, yeah, I mean, and what's different about this one? I don't know if you see, you see this, but it's got the uh, blue accents. The reason why it's got the blue accents, and I'll show you on the other side, because what does blue represent? Blue typically represents hybrid, electric, right? So this thing is electric. You get 21 miles out of a charge. Very similar, the engine is very similar to um, a BMW 330e. You get 21 miles on a charge. It's got a two liter four cylinder engine. The horsepower and the torque is up there. It's a, like a little over 350 horsepower, uh, 400 foot-pounds of torque. I don't believe it 100%. I think that's overstated to be quite honest because when I drove this, it didn't feel like it. I felt like when I was driving the BMW, it had more power, more torque. But uh, anyway, those are the numbers that they're giving you. These are the numbers that they want to tell you that, they, that it's got. All right, it's got the uh, BF Goodrich all-terrain vehicle tires so they're really powerful got a lot of power on this thing it's got very good wheels I, I think these are really cool these are the ones i would want on this car anyway and this color what was this color called earl clear coat exterior paint it's really neat so the earl color is like kind of like a blue green like a seafoam green really neat, neat color and with the blue accents, because it's the electric hybrid, I think that's really cool. It's a neat option. Uh, let's check out the uh, rear. Comes with the uh, the charger. I can open this, there we go. So it's got a lot of room in the back, no question about it. I mean, look at this room. It definitely has a lot of room. It's got the roll cage built in. All of this comes out. You need three or four people to take that out. You got a couple bolts, you got to remove the, uh, third brake light or move the third brake light to be able to move it it's got the charger this is the uh 110 charger it takes about i think he said 11 hours to charge on a 110 but if you have a level two charger then you could charge it in like two to four hours which is typical for this kind of this kind of um hybrid electric so i'm assuming it's got similar to the bmw it's probably got like the uh 12 kilowatt uh battery pack in the uh, rear and the batteries on this car are located underneath the rear seats which are underneath there so underneath all this i wonder if i can open this up no anyway there probably is a way but i don't want to mess with it now in the rear i don't see any usb ports or anything like that but it's got the window controls in the back up and down, kind of a weird spot. Ventilation. Speakers up top, like your typical Jeep, you know? Kind of like where you could put your aftermarket speakers in the past when we were growing up. Um, some lighting. That's a really neat touch. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not the most comfortable Jeep to drive. I mean, Jeeps are typically not the most comfortable things to drive. They're very upright, they're very vertical. Um, I was uh, curious about the warranties on this. He's going to look into the corrosion warranty because I am always concerned about corrosion on these Jeep vehicles. 
But this has got a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty, eight year, 100,000 mile hybrid and high voltage battery warranty. That's excellent. Three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper. With this car, you're getting like probably between 40, 50 miles per gallon. Um, typical hybrid driving. Um, you could get up to 70, 80 miles per gallon, honestly, if you're doing a lot of local driving and uh, not really using your fuel uh, at all. So obviously that's gonna like bump up your, your miles per gallon. The front is kind of a typical Jeep. You know, you got your standard unlock, lock. This has got like some, you know, cloth textured material up here. It's got the 12, I think it's a 12 and a half inch screen, touch screen, right? That's pretty cool. You can do a lot of different things with this. This is new to 2024. The older Jeeps didn't have this. That's a pretty cool option. And to remove the tops, there's just four, four locations. One, two, three, four, and you're removing this, right? And then the locket, it's just as simple. And within minutes, you can remove both these tops and get them out of your way. And you're going down to the shore, enjoying yourself. Um, speaker system. What kind of radio system does this have? I don't think it points out anything. Eight speakers, seven inch drive, information digital cluster display, power front windows, air conditioning, six way manual adjustable seats. Yeah, so these are all manual seats. Um, in order to get the power seats, you have to go one step up. I think you can order this with that option, uh, but this vehicle doesn't have it. Uh, radio system is really good. I mean, everything's intuitive. It still has all its button controls, heated steering wheel, heating heated seats. This is like some sort of, uh, what is this? Max regeneration. Okay, so this is for your brakes. So I'm gonna try this while I'm driving and check it out and see if I can feel the difference. Supposedly you can feel a significant difference. Some people don't like it, some people do. You gotta get used to driving, one pedal driving, but um, yeah, that's the regenerative braking, um, you know, it's it's got your manual uh, four-wheel drive high and low uh axle lock for rear only automatic drive uh here's your media outputs you know basically your 12 volt battery um and your usb-c and usb-a with an auxiliary cord too actually glove box very very small i mean just enough for oh that's pretty cool yeah. <laughs> little tools oh that's so you can uh, remove the, uh, the the rear rear top so that's pretty cool comes with a nice little handy toolbox um, owner's manual and whatnot that's pretty pretty straightforward um, screen off oh wow you can actually turn the screen off probably so you can clean it and you're not bumping into any uh, buttons uh, ventilation in here you know, kind of minimal in terms of like how you can uh, adjust everything, but uh, it's purposeful, you know? And I like the fact that it's got all the buttons, you know I mean, honestly. So you can lock the rear windows, lock and, and unlock them. You can, these are the fronts, these are the rears. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna take you onto the driver's side. All right, so let me hop in. Hopefully, wish me luck. I need a thing, a step stool for this. I'm getting too old. All right, let's look at the dashboard. So speedometer, electric speedometer, tachometer. Uh, you got your uh, power, power right here. You know, for your electric battery, 53%. Um, yeah, I mean, average miles per gallon. You can see it's at 17.3 miles per gallon. That's kind of like really bad for uh, an electric hybrid. But, you know, I think this thing hasn't been moving much. You know, it's been basically just sitting um, so yeah, I mean, everything else is very intuitive. It's like easy to use. Uh, you got your, your lights here on automatic, your interior. Oh, then you got your modes, your hybrid mode, electric mode, and your e-save mode. So again, this is very much like the BMW 3 Series, the 330e, where you can run it in hybrid mode, which most people are gonna be driving it in. You can drive it in electric mode, full electric mode, or you can e-save where you're holding the power on your electric batteries, you're utilizing the uh, the uh, gas motor, the ice motor, 
And, uh, and then when you're in a spot where you can use your electric, then boom, just pump it into your electric. But most of the time you're gonna be in hybrid, hybrid mode and the computer is gonna determine whether or not it's smart to use the electric or smart to use the, uh, the gas powered engine. So, um, but again, typically you're gonna get probably 30, 40, I would say 40 miles per gallon on this if you're playing it smart, 50 probably tops. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. And again, you know, I don't think the power on this thing is like major. You know, I think it's, uh, it feels okay. It's a little, a little sluggish when you step on the accelerator, but uh, yeah, that's what that's all about. Let's check out the engine. it takes basically unlock that unlock this All right and then here right here is a latch where you can open it up I'm trying to do this with one hand there we go right. and there's a two liter engine two liter hybrid engine Again, I'm gonna put the uh, the horsepower and everything up on the uh, screen, but it's uh, like 350, I think 370 horsepower and a little f over 400 foot-pounds of torque. Again, I don't feel it when I drive it. It doesn't feel that powerful. I mean, I have a Ford Explorer ST. That's a, uh, a newer 2023. That's got 300, 400 horsepower and a little bit about the same uh, torque. And that this that feels a lot more powerful. A lot more peppy you know the engine's definitely built better but it's also not a hybrid and i'm getting about 26 miles per gallon so anyway so this is typical engine i mean the jeep's been working on this engine and modifying it and improving on it the uh, dealer said that this does not have a uh, a detuned two-cylinder four four-cylinder engine this is the standard two-cylinder two two-liter two four-cylinder engine and it's just mated with a, uh, an electric drivetrain that's in line with the uh, rear shaft. So it's probably the engine, the, uh, the electric motor, the transmission. Hopefully you don't have to work on this thing. So capitalized on the warranty. <laughs> and he's gonna find out about the corrosion because typically on these Jeeps, you know, like when I was growing up, you're gonna see corrosion at the hinges. You're gonna see corrosion at these spots right down in here corrosion sometimes around the key holes you know the, all the penetrations and stuff like that but uh yeah i mean but this looks good it's you know it's all blacked out trim is blacked out and with this color with this uh earl clear coat exterior paint you know it's nice it's nice it's definitely a cool cool jeep so uh led lights up front your typical round lights I think that's a nice touch. Suspension system. Let's take it for a drive. All right, so we're gonna start off with hybrid mode. And we're gonna drive it in hybrid mode, and I'm gonna show you the uh, the power that you get out of this thing. And it sounds like it's in electric mode right now. To be honest, the engine doesn't sound like it's on, but that it gives you a little bit of torque. You know what I think it is? It's the transmission. I I, I don't like this transmission. I think it's an eight-speed transmission. I'll double check on that, but it's just something about it. It doesn't give you, it doesn't transfer all the power between the ice motor and the electric motor efficiently, I don't think, but whatever. And it could be the fact that it's a four-wheel drive, it's a Jeep, it's kind of clunky, but otherwise I think it's a nice driving car. I mean, for a Jeep, it's not bad. I remember the Jeeps when we were growing up, it was, it was horrible. I'm gonna click this. You can click the different modes while you're driving. So I'm gonna go directly to electric mode. So I'm on full electric mode right now. You hear that whining?
Yeah, I got. I got. I'm gonna dig into the electric motor, the power from the electric motor, and how many kilowatts the battery is, and I'll share that with you guys. But this is pretty impressive, actually, for just the electric motor. Yeah, it's got a little punch in the electric motor. It definitely has a little power. E-save is obvious, you just you're gonna save the electric power, but I'm gonna put the regenerative braking on. Let's see what that feels like. Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, you definitely feel it. It's not quite 100% one pedal drive. You definitely have to touch on the, the brake. But it definitely slows you down. I mean, I'm gonna like press on the accelerator and let go. And you could, you could definitely feel it slowing down. So, and it gives you a couple miles. Um, and it'll charge up the battery a little bit. So, I don't think this engine actually charges the battery like a generator, like some of the other vehicles. But this one supposedly doesn't do that. But otherwise, I want to put it back in hybrid mode. I'm going to take the regenerative part, generative braking off. I don't really care for that right now. It's quiet. I mean, I, I think this is a quiet vehicle. You know, and this takes pre premium, by the way. <coughs> Bless you. So this takes premium gas. Uh, I think 91 octane. So you have to put premium in here. So you might as well use the electric. You know, per kilowatt, it's going to be a, a lot cheaper. Look at the uh, screen here. You got XM radio, comfort mode. Look at this. You can set up. This is uh, your AC system. You can increase the heat, lower the heat, phone, vehicle dynamics. It's got a little bit of information here. The hybrid mode. It's showing you what's what's going on. You're using your obviously your rear wheels. When you engage the four-wheel drive manually here, you can actually go into four-wheel drive. We're not in four-wheel drive, no need to. Um, heated seats, heated steering wheel. Um, you can go into your apps and check out like, you know, off-road pages, device manager, hybrid electric, all that kind of good stuff. This is Apple and Android uh, wireless, and I don't believe it's wireless charging. Well, it might be. Actually, it might be. I'll double check on that. But it, I remember him saying that it was wireless charging. I just don't know where. But anyway, it's probably in here in the center console. But yeah, this is a uh, pretty nice rear view camera. Check that out. That's pretty cool. So while you're driving, you can see who's behind you. If you're off roading, you can check out what's behind you, what's around you, all that kind of good stuff. I know there's a couple like other like really neat functions on, on here. And again, the 2024 is the new model. That's the model that's got this screen. All the other old models don't have this screen. So if you could do it, wait for the 2024 model or get the 2024 model, get this 12 and a half inch screen. It's worth it, 100%. All right, so the, the price for this vehicle is on the on the high end. I mean, you're talking 60 plus thousand dollars for this vehicle. You gotta really want it. I mean, if you had the money and you wanted to enjoy yourself and, and buy this car, hats off to you. I mean, it's a good toy to have. It's fun, it's somewhat comfortable. I wish it, I wish this reclined back a little bit further to seat, you know, because my back doesn't like being so vertical. It needs to be back a little bit further. For this price, I mean, you're talking another $10,000 you can get a a Mercedes-Benz GLE 350. So like, why would you get this? I'm not sure. It's really just because you, you're a, a loyal customer of Jeep. You wanna buy the Jeep, it looks cool. It's fun during the summer. I mean, it, there's a purpose for it. I mean, no question about it. It's fun off-roading. If you wanna take a 60 plus thousand dollar car off-roading, I don't know if I would. You know, you spend that kind of money. It's I, I, it's gonna be kind of like a, an enjoyable car for the summer that's basically it so if you have the money then um but in my opinion 
for 60 grand, you can get some, some pretty nice vehicles out there, you know, and enjoy them a little bit more. So anyway, so this is my opinion. Please like, subscribe, and click on that bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out. So, oh, and by the way, these are the oh shit handles. The oh shit hun handles are for, for, your, uh, for your passenger, just in case, you know? Anyway, oh shit.